And here comes, here comes, oh here God. comes the supervisor. <laughs> Fun police. I hear kissing. What right. they doing? Y'all should be working. What y'all doing? Get back to work. <laughs> hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel so we're just gonna jump straight into it so this week on tuesday me and my baby we was casually talking outside in the kitchen next thing we hear is a i'm like what the heck is that so we looking outside the kitchen window the kitchen door and i was like it sounds like it came from the bedroom so I walk in the bedroom, girl, the whole closet was on the floor. Not the whole closet, but like the rack that was here on this left side. Oh my God. And like doing this closet. <laughs> What's funny is that a few weeks ago, um, I came across, you know, the viral Target bookcase closet hack, right? So... I, I shared it to my baby. I was like, oh, this is cute. Cute, inexpensive, DIY, blase, blase. I was like, oh, when we're ready, we could potentially do that, say so penny. Because doing the closet was not in the cards right now. Like, we're trying to furnish outside in the living room in the kitchen. And then after that, we was gonna do the crown molding in the living room. And then after that, we was gonna do the floors around the whole house. We have carpet in here, and I don't think it's smart to put back the wire racks because it's just going to come tumbling down again. Anyways, we got too much clothes. So what I did was I drove a whole hour to a Target that had the bookcases in stock, and I'm going to mount them to the wall just to secure them because like I said, we got a lot of freaking clothes and shoes. I don't know how we finna do this. So I purchased six um, bookcases, the tall ones, I think it's like 71 inches. And then I purchased two of the three case book bookcase from Target. I'm gonna get to clearing out this closet so that I can prep and start painting and then Honestly, y'all, it's about 7 30, 8 o'clock. we going to probably get to those bookcases tomorrow. I have a birthday um, brunch to go to at 1 o'clock tomorrow. And then, um, as well as I have to do some overtime in the morning. So, after the brunch is probably when we're going to actually get to start doing the Target bookcases. Hey y'all, so it's definitely the next day. Ask me if I painted last night. No. So I just got back from my good friend's um brunch. It was super super cute, and I'm a little 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 tipsy, just a little bit. Um, but it was cute though. Her color theme was white, gold, and floral plants. What? And floral prints. So I wore this white um, crop button down shirt and then I wore this floral skirt with these pockets that I had got from Goodwill a few years ago, like definitely a few years ago. And then this top is from H&M. And then I have on my Nike with the charms on them. And then these glasses, I don't know where the hell they're from. While I was at the party, baby got to paint in the um, closet and she took down the remaining um, shelf or rack or whatever in the middle of the closet. She puttied up the walls and then she did the first coat of the paint. All right, so as y'all can see, like she did the first coat, so we still need to do a second coat and we barely have enough paint to do that. So I'm thinking we may need to go 
to Home Depot to pick up another gallon. Ugh. <laughs> I should've just picked up two gallons. Um, but yeah, so far it's looking good. But I'm gonna eat this piece y'all. I'm tipsy. I'm hungry. I'm gonna catch up with y'all when we um, do the bookcases after we do the second coat of paint. Cause I know that's what y'all here for. Hey y'all, so we just got back from Home Depot. We picked up another gallon of the, the paint and I changed clothes and I sobered up. <laughs> All right, so I'm finna do the second coat. And while I'm painting the second coat, she is putting together the bookcases. So we gonna tag team this. It's about eight o'clock late on Saturday. So let's get her done. Driving away while I put my dreams away to the summer sunset on a holy night on a long black road all the tears I fight sixteen carriages driving away while I watch them ride with my dreams away to the summer sunset on a holy night on a long black road all the tears I fight Fifteen, the innocence was gone astray. Had to leave my home at an early age. I saw mama praying, I saw daddy grind. All my tender problems had to leave behind. It's been umpteen summers and I'm not in my bed. On the back of the bus in a bunk with the band. Going so hard, gotta choose myself. Underpaid and overwhelmed. I might cut clean, but still won't go. Still working all my life, you know. Only God knows, only God knows, only God knows. We just got back from um, dinner for my dad's birthday. We went to 1961. It's like some Spanish spot in downtown Lakeland. And it was quite good. So we finished painting in here in the closet and now we're assembling the dresser drawer that we're putting in here. And then we're gonna maneuver the bookcases in here and start setting that up and placing the rods um, on the bookcases. But right now we're just fixing the drawers. Okay. Uh -huh. 
очень мелкий. Right, I'll be trying to help her pop out. I'm gonna have to I'll be scared she's gonna break it. I'm not, it's just a quick little trial and error. Because I'll be trying to put it this way. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, they need to sit upright. Yeah. Ready for another one. I mean, we're missing some pieces. <laughs> you want to help us? Okay. So you found the missing piece. Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna call Walmart and cuss their asses out. Me too. How dare you send us this heavy ass box and go forget a draw? Exactly. Mm. What was your goddamn attendance? Mm. What's the next step, baby? Okay, next step. Mm, I gotta go back to my page. A few of these others. <laughs> That's okay. It does. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, probably gonna block the A's from me. Oh, my God. <laughs> these drawers are not deep at all. Lady. I'm tired of you telling me what to do. Mm. I like it a little bit, but not when I'm taking initiative. I'm gonna do what I wanna do, okay? You must go the lightly tap it anyways. Yeah, of course. So why would you? I just have to make sure we was on one accord. What are you doing? Oh no, I heard something. I had on a different shirt, y'all. But me and baby was trying to be cute and feed each other our plates because she had like some grouper dish and I had um, a shrimp dish and her dish had like some sauce or whatever on it and she spilled it all on my button down so I was cuter earlier and I had on these these shorts I have on them from H&M 
But I changed into this t-shirt. Yeah, I accidentally spilled stuff on her. I gotta get my face. I can be like, um, cow and chicken mama. You ever seen cow and chicken? No. Wow, you saw the lane, baby. Cow and chicken, so basically parents be talking like this and you never under, you never could see their face. This is perfectly fine. You know, look at my hands, you know, boo woo woo woo, boo 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 woo. But the people boo. wanna see your beautiful face. Of course they do, but no. Hey! Anyway, so I spilled some sauce. I had like this nice um, gooper salad. What is it? Saldara. Saldado. Saldado. It's, it's a saldado. I had a, a grouper saldado with some nice uh, gravy. I call it gravy. Um, it's Sunday. You gotta have, I'm, I'm from the South. You, feel me? you gotta have Sunday dinner. Anyway, I'm long-winded. But what I'm gonna say, I'm gonna definitely just say this right here and just like, you know, um, I spilled all types of like stuff. I told them, all baby. Of me. I told them. Oh, so you could have... We could have alleviated all of that. But you was, mean, you was doing I mean, a lot. But why you and, and, uh, mm. Mm. I just like aggravating her. I just really like aggravating her. Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes, here comes, oh my here God. comes the supervisor. <laughs> Fun police. I hear kissing. What right. they doing? Y'all should what be working. What's I doing? Get back to work. <laughs> Get back to work, Oh, you don't want to get the other one? Okay. I don't like this part. Okay. Let's <laughs> <laughs> keep that up another one. Okay. I call Captain now. Yeah. Make sure you know what we got to do for the next step. I'm mm -hmm. looking back for And let me know. Oh, they want us to screw on the... Oh, I could do this part, but honestly... I would like to... Spray paint those knobs. But I can always do that next weekend. I can always do that for now. Dressers came with these knobs, and that's not the color scheme that we're going for. So for right now, I'm gonna screw them on to the drawers, but next weekend or sometime during this week, I'm gonna spray paint these things. Um that champagne bronze. Goldish color. Excuse me, Cove. Cove, I know you love my sister. So, I'm going to these on now. Alright y'all, so we just finished the drawers and then um, the next step is to anchor the dresser into the wall. But before we anchor it, or mount it rather, into the wall, we want to bring in the bookcases. And where do you want this one? You want to put it right here, I guess. 
or you can flip it and put it um, right there as the first case. some closet. I don't like it. I think it looks better. Uh, so what I could do is I'm gonna put two here and then I could put a rod going across there. For your room. y'all so we figured out this configuration so we put two bookcases here on the back wall and two cases here on the wall when you first walk in and then we put the dresser right here and then we're gonna put the two small bookcases on top of the dresser and mount it to the wall and then on this side we put two, put two of the other <laughs> cases and then we have this gap right here um initially i wanted to hang a rod in the closet for dresses and robes and things but i don't see how that's gonna work so we're just gonna put two um what did i say they were called uh like uh pins. oh hooks <laughs> Um, we're gonna put two or three hooks right here for our robes. So that will, this little gap right here will be covered. And then we're kind of thinking of putting our shoes here in the back wall and then close in these two cases and then the two cases here. And then in here, the drawers are not that deep, they're kind of shallow. So we might put like our underwear and things in here and then we have a dresser in our bedroom my bedroom's a mess so i'm not showing y'all but so um we have a dresser in our bedroom and that is a little bit more deep than this dresser in here so whatever clothes don't fit in these cases and things we're probably going to utilize that dresser and shift everything that's in there in this dresser here and then for the top of the cases, I have these two baskets from Target. Um, and the smaller one here fits a little bit better. Don't mind the mess, but that's just like where we keep like our hair scarves and things. But I'm thinking possibly we could put baskets up here just to utilize this height in here. Um, but yeah. So far, I'm liking it. Um, I'm still planning on trimming out 
um, some of the seams like here, just so it looks more custom. And then baby kind of messed up on this one. This was the first one that we did. So we're gonna have to trim this one too. Yes, babe. I'm not talking mess. I said that was the first one that we did. So you kind of messed up on it a little bit, but it's okay. We're, we're, we planned on the, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we planned on trimming out the closet anyways, just to make it more, blah. why can't I talk? <laughs> just so we can make it more custom. Make you, nervous, girl. you do. <laughs> I'm closing the door again. <laughs> so yeah, so we planned on trimming out the cases anyways, just to make it look more custom. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at right now. Um, we still gotta put the rods, the clothing rods and things in here and then put the shelves in the places that we wanna put folded clothes. So stay tuned y'all, um, as well as I wanna change out this fixture in here and put something more cute and more of our style. And yeah. Oh, and then right here, um, we had that sunglasses rack um, over here in that corner initially. So we're planning on putting that right here. But so far I'm liking this configuration. Let me know what y'all think in the comments and stay tuned for part two of us putting together the rest of the closet. And I'll check y'all in the next vlog. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notification uh, bell just to be notified for my next vlog. So I'll check y'all later.